Ouch. 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 <laughs> Boy, you mad. Hand clap to the master guys. They're definitely back again for the second reaction video of this here today. Reaction videos, of course. Definitely, if you have not done so, definitely check out the previous one. And of course, welcome to the Mr. Licks family for tuning into the second one of this set, um, Mr. Licks Reacts channel. And of course, the new comments are there. If you tune into this one, but not the previous one, that'll be in the first comment in the comment box below. So you can definitely check that out right there. So give this video a thumbs up, guys. I would appreciate that. And don't forget to download the app, the Mr. Licks Tube app, a number of 100. I think 100 and something of you guys have downloaded the app thus, uh, thus far. So big up to you guys as well. The more people that download it, there's def definitely more of a vibrations right there for us to do more things on the app. And of course, upgrading and so forth and so forth. You know, we have to provide the upgrades. <laughs> yes, sir. And of course, those of you on the Apple or the iPhone or what do you call it? The Apple, the Apple sector of, of, of iPhones and what have you. Apple sector of phones, brothers and sisters. Um, we haven't forgotten you guys. That will definitely come in later down of the year right there so keep a lock on that, vib on that vibration so don't let you have give this video a thumbs up i would appreciate that and of course don't forget to subscribe and turn on our post notifications to get all the videos the notifications when they drop right there click subscribe click all click the bell and then click all <laughs> yes sir i said it so much i was supposed to roll off my tongue but anyways guys consider the whole situation involving the rain and you know i know another person was looking for the moon last night because it was a full moon but Unfortunately, cloud cover and you know, it was just a, a sad situation. People can't go outside and watch the moon, man. <laughs> Enjoy like a night <laughs> line, you see me. Anyways, guys, this is the reason why this is right there. And of course, it continued all the way up to 6 a.m. Of course, early in this morning was a bit raining as well. Uh, Wednesday, which of course is today. But of course, there was a tropical wave. A tropical wave was affecting the region, elevated moisture levels and possible enhancement by the presence of an up, upper level Thruft Tropical wave or thruft? Which one? Which one is it? Upper level trough, so I guess it's a tropical wave in this regard. I expect it to maintain, maintain increased cloudiness, which of course was what we saw last night. No moon because it was under, well, the clouds were under it and covering the visuals, man. Ah, wicked clouds, man. But clouds have to do what they have to do right there. So you can pretty much see these vibrations. There was rain and there was thing. I didn't see any flooded videos happening. If there were, of course, I'll definitely show you guys. But that was what was taking place right there. Of course, guys, I haven't heard anything about the officials talking about any hurricane season preparedness. I haven't heard that, have you guys? But of course, um, I think this ha shows a little bit of what needs to be done. Stay away from, you know, flooded areas and rocks are falling. <laughs> you know, rocks like to fall in Dominica. <laughs> Nobody's shaking, you know, but rocks are falling. Brothers and sisters, be careful out there when it comes down to this situation. All right? Now, moving along to the situation at present, which I know a number of you guys pretty much wanted to know about uh, an update on the particular situation involving the missing girl but before I get into that there's something I need to clarify right there of course this was something that I posted a number of times and of course reiterating uh, who might be the father and what have you but guys based off what this individual told me right there and let me make it bigger for you guys he said Miss Selix I am currently watching your video confused who is the girl's father that's what in the videos I post I posted out the woman in the picture with the madman is not the child's mother. So apparently, this woman right there is not this woman right there, guys. And this is one of the reasons why I like to do the reactions based on the information that we actually received. And then, of course, you guys can come in and say, okay, what is going on and whatnot. But apparently, this guy knows the woman very, woman very well and, of course, indicated that this is not the same girl right there. So a number of persons who have been saying this, I know include myself based off the information we received. And, of course, updates in the massives, brothers and sisters. This is definitely not the woman right there. Not only that though, but let me continue reading this thing right there. The woman in the picture, the woman in the picture with the madman is not the child's mother. The picture that was posted with the mother um, giving the story about her being missing is two different people. So like I said before, this one is different from this one. Although they look alike, you know, they might be sisters. Just like the, 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 the mister and the girl might be related somewhere, somehow. They might be related to... Because they look awfully close alike, no doubt about it. Same nose, um, same cheek, same, well, if you're looking slightly, same forehead. But you know a little difference, man. But they say they're different. This one is known as K Kifani. Yes, Kifani, brothers and sisters. So this one, Kifani is actually the madman's her, um, um, wife. Right there, brothers and sisters. And of course, the picture was posted with the mother giving the story about her missing. It's two different people. If you go to the madman's uh, Facebook and look at the pictures and the timeline it does not add up right there he actually tagged the girl 
in the photo and if you go to her, her page and scroll far enough you can see pictures of her from the year she and the madman was together and of course this is the picture of them right there i myself thought it was two girls i was <laughs> beginning <laughs> but they say it's two man a hey, woman let me two man fire anyways the man there that is the madman and his wife right there now there's an other information in this regard concerning the situation involving her and she's saying there's a number of things that people are saying on the radio including that of his parents what they're saying and she wants to give a side of the story she's itching brothers and sisters she wants to give a side of the story and of course the individual who wrote this for me gave her math information hopefully she gets to give her side of the story as well because she's saying some of the things that the parents were saying does not add up was saying some of the things the parents were saying does not add up at all to to what 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 her her experience of the whole thing is and i think a number of persons coming together to give their experiences on the different on this individual himself uh will pretty much give us some up of what what um what what he is like and so forth because the way the parents painted him is like he would do no harm he might be eating but you know he have a little mental little thing so that triggers him and what not not saying that not the case but the wife herself might have a, a different point of view from what i was gathering from from what they were saying it seems like she's saying that some of the things that the parents were saying doesn't add up so hopefully she'll call on, call on matter or whoever to, to, to give that story and then of course I'll react to that. You guys know how we roll already. Updates after updates like whoa, <laughs> you see me? So that's how we do it right there. And of course this is a blown up picture. This is what they're talking about. Um, him tagging her in that photo, in that said photo. His wife, who well, apparently, you know, he loves a lot. And I guess he's missing her and you know, so forth and so forth. But um, so, so I was told I can put up this picture. This is why I put it up. And of course, this was sent to me by one of the individuals who knows this girl um, very, very closely. Um, but hopefully she gets to give a story, brothers and sisters, because we're in a number of things. Some people for, well, not, not I don't know if it's for or against, but, you know, the parents were like, you know, trying to soften the blow. Which, of course, is your son. You know, is your son, man. Your son, you always try to shield your son. No doubt about it. Your son, you will try to shield your son. But what does a wife have to say, the actual wife who lived with this individual, what does she have to say in this regard? So hopefully, like I said before, she'll give a storyline right there. However, there's a particular individual who's also given their storyline. And of course, I myself wasn't too sure as to who this individual was. This was uh, one of the, the DJs of Dominica. And this is what this person is saying. This abduction is the best thing that has ever happened to UWP and its supporters. Convince me otherwise. This is what somebody's saying on a political partition, political. Because let me, let, me, let me bring that back. I was going to say political, but it's not political. It is partition politics being played here because everything around us, even this clothes I'm wearing, is politics. Policies put in place for, to allow us to wear certain things, to have phones, to do certain things. It might be different in China. They say you have to cover your face and all kinds of things. Policies, brothers and sisters, that is indeed politics. But this is definitely partition politics. And this individual ask, ask, is asking, the first person who gets the dummy who said this gets $10 top up. It should be very easy. Now, boys, shortness is a gift to some. That is not shortness. That is done scatter. Don't scare that there. Help me understand this. I'm confused. I myself was confused when I saw this. And your rational, this person is saying your rational for, for making this thing is what exactly? Only desperate and evil people would take the safety of a youth as a political thing. I don't believe your statement to be true at all, but I suppose that's your opinion. Who on earth would write this thing right there? Well, well I have a little insight as to who that what, what might be. I think it's, wait, it's now. Yes. <laughs> this person right there. This is the very person apparently who stated about dumb leg. Okay. Dumb leg. No, we are still have dumb leg problems, brothers and sisters. I know the whole situation surrounds the missing one, but the missing two individuals. But the, the, it, dumb leg don't disappear. <laughs> I heard that it went down in June as, up, as, as opposed to two things. We'll talk about that sometime. I have to bring this up sometime back. But anyways, it's still relevant. But anyways, guys. This individual right there, who apparently seems to want some attention, is stating those workers inside the dome like, no, them blue birds, always, always some political, partition poti political thing. Them blue birds inside the dome like, yes, all you, those of all you, remember this was March 31st, eh? 
those of all you that like to frustrate people because of politics but but you anyways ownership change the company belongs to us do not try to sabotage our company to prove all your dirty political point because we will boss all you see rc <laughs> so this is the person right there who made this stupid statement very stupid very 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 stupid i don't understand why would you why would you reduce yourself to 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 make yourself dotish on social media i don't get it anyway she made this point right there i don't even well post something and you grab it she's talking about the dj who posted this thing right there and then that's when i started you know gasp, grasp, grasping what was going on and grab it and repost it to your thousands of followers who is the dummy you is the dummy you are the one who made this stupid statement how, how you blaming somebody for sharing the foolishness that you're saying and then blaming them for sharing it and then asking who is the dummy that statement is very foolish and inconsiderate as well especially to the amount of people who are supporting the uwp who actually went there and tried to look for the little one and there were a number of them right there and you're saying that they that is the best thing that could ever happen for uwp supporters guys sometimes every time i think of human beings man and not everybody but but a lot of individuals including this person right there you just have to shake your head. Eh? You just have to Elas. God don't don't Ella, God God must have punished us and say boy what? Just like I'm um, Professor Lumumba say the, the people get what they truly deserve. Anyway, she's trying to come for the, the um the, 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 the Jamaican um individual. A big promoter you be and you're not more viral than me. Who is it? so viral viral it is viral I don't understand people are, are claiming trying to be viral. Well uh, guys make a viral please. She want to go viral. Let's make a viral, please, brothers and sisters. Go on a post and start, you know, writing things, man. Give us some words of wisdom. <laughs> because she lacking wisdom right there. You're talking about a DJ and you're trying to make yourself more popular and you want to go viral. You've been viral for talking down scat on Facebook and you think that's something nice? Furthermore, are you even getting paid? <laughs> and I see a set of people making social media. When you ask, so you, 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 you getting paid now for what? You, no. No. Oh. Okay. Okay then. A big promoter, you be you're not more viral than me. Who is the dumb? Who is the dummy? You. If you if using you to promote my post, your DA washed up has been Ned a post from me to has or oh, has been need a post from me to make him trend. Who is the dummy? My girl, it's not about getting viral or nothing like that. No, it's about what you post. Does what you post make sense? And if it doesn't make sense and that's what you're trending, calling somebody who shared the post and then you start to trend doesn't mean you are making sense or you are looked at as somebody who, who has good brain. It, you, it's like you're dotish. You make a dotish statement about dumb leg workers and say, oh, it's awesome thing. I mean, and you still come back and make another dotish statement just for people to say, boy, that girl dotish. A set of people you go and trend in just for people to tell you dotish. You go trend in and get paid. I don't mind if you're getting paid, you know. <laughs> I don't mind if your post, your Facebook post, was get, you get paid. <laughs> boy, I don't say, hey. I don't mind your Facebook post was, you was getting paid for your Facebook post. And people call you dotish. Hey. Call me dotish, but I getting paid, you know what I mean? But you're not getting paid and you're just going viral just to be known as a dotish person. No, but <laughs> you're stretching the door. Once I post, all you bound to react and repost and, re and respond. Who is the dummy? Cannot sell out a show to save your soul and needs a fat girl with a spicy mouth to get clout. Wash, my girl, it's, it's not about that, now. Nah. When people see this, look, look, I don't need, I don't need that to get clout, now. Nah. Mr. X, you should let me leave that alone. <laughs> Just the name alone. <laughs> but anyways, uh, people used to actually use my name to get their channels to get. Anyways, that's another situation right there. Can I tell other show to get clout? But if he's getting clout and he getting paid on your thing, that's not a good thing, now. You helping him get paid. You helping promote him. 
He does, he does shows and gets paid for it. But you're on social media sending posts, making people think you dotish if you're not dotish for real. Because I say this is probably you just wanted to get, you know, get known. You just wanted to, to make yourself, you know, get some attention by posting stupidness like this. But if he's getting shows and what have you and he's going all, all over the place, I think he's beating you because he's actually getting paid to do shows. So in fact, you making him more popular because he getting money and you still don't get a dime. <laughs> but who's the dummy you asking? Really, my girl? Really? Nobody don't even want you on their flyer. You can't pull crowd. Let me go and do my work. Stand by for my post. Sakwe Makak. Well, Mong Pili. I just say that. I tell Facebook why you so bitter with the government, but you're not with all that energy so you write all this let's get it straight you write you write all this and then you're talking about not wasting your energy today really come on people we can do better than that eh? i think we can do better than that and as a woman who growing up and people watching you because you say you want to be an influencer and it's dotish you trying to make other people watching you dotish you trying to make them dotish too no man that, that statement right there, my girl used to recant that and tell the people you're sorry for the foolish ways of yours. Sup your dirty ways, man. Sup your dirty ways. And it's rather interesting that she know. <laughs> she know, best of this thing, somebody sent this to me. I'm looking for a social media manager to monetize my page and capitalize on my popularity. The traffic on my wall is insane. So you have traffic on your wall which is insane and you're not getting no type of money yet so when you're doing all this thing and people think you dotish you know even like welvin no welvin welvin what do you say gary <laughs> this kind of thing there welvin get how much thousands of dollars he lose all of it he give it to stupid woman and they take all his money and go and and thing but you asking now to get what me social media presence to monetize your Come on, man. Come on, my girl. Ah, of course. Guys, I must make mention to this particular situation as well. <laughs> Forget about so who, that, that, that girl there. Ella, pray for her, please. Pray for her. She need, she need help. Um, pray for her. And thing. But of course, this individual will send this thing for me right there. Now, guys, I made a video talking about the Cassibles. They might be um, 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 heading to... No. The girl might be in Cassibles region. And of course, individuals will tell me uh cassie bruce tear gas a voice note isn't true yes that that's what the the cassie bruce police station individual was stated that it's not true the voice note going out isn't true however we noticed something rather interesting when emma was giving the the views as you can see right there if you don't notice there's chairs on the the van right there it seems like they're packing up right there brothers and sisters they're packing up and from my understanding, it seems like they are surrounding the Cassibus region. So it's not necessarily saying that the post was not necessarily true. There were officers in that region, according to even loads of officers descended on Cassibus. If you notice, they are packing up from the Warner region. And this is, you know, what they're pretty much doing right there. They're packing up. You can see some of the tents have gone down. One of the tents have gone down. And of course, Ebony News was on the scene. But this is what the officer had to say right there. So, can you give us an update as to the search for Kanisha ATM? Yes, um, well, as you can see, the, the officers are out. We are continuing the search. We have been steady at it from the onset. And uh, we are going to continue doing just that. Uh, you can see the weather condition is not very favorable. And you can see the tent at the back. This one is also, you know, but, um, coming down. Um, that doesn't stop the search. We are going to continue. We have had our officers out from money. We've had the assistance of the forestry. This was yesterday, by the way. We've had uh, fire officers. Um, we've had civilians who have come in. And we have all placed them in groups and have sent them out there to continue this search. So I think they're starting to do it much smarter. However, the question is, at that time when things were supposed to actually happen, wasn't it then that you were supposed to actually put individuals in proper groups and this kind of things there instead of doing it now? I mean, they say better late than never. 
but I think better earlier than late. You understand me? Better earlier than later. You should have done that properly because that's one of the complaints that individuals were giving. But it seems like since they told the crowd, you know, to, to, to go home and they actually took on some people, um, some citizens as well, to continue the search along with the po police officers. I think they are more coordinated in that effort right there. So as time goes by, I think today is day number seven or day number eight. Tuesday, eight. Yeah, today has to be day number eight, I'm believing. Since I think it was last week, Tuesday. That she went missing because the the match was on monday tuesday yes yeah, so this is day number eight right there this is day number seven as it's speaking yes we are doing some target searches as well but the search continues sadly there has not been any positive results at this time so that's a, that's as much as i can see as we speak but if the guys are custom of bush and stay in bush for six months and those kind of things there then again we heard that the girl might have asthma so that's that's another concern of mine right there um but i don't think from what the parents say even though the wife might be saying that there might be a difference in in what the parents say who knows what exactly she's going to be saying hopefully she comes that's why i want her to come and give her views she needs to come and give her views because she lived with the guy she is the madman's husband she's the madman's wife i mean so i think she should come and give her views anyways there have been so many rumors and voice messages all over dominica what advice would you like to give to these people who are, you know, sending these voice notes out? Yes, yes. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. The people should not be doing these things. This is adding more confusion to the to the whole process, and um, it is it is not right to be doing that. The information must come from the police. The police speak, and the police will give the details as to what is going on. I agree with that statement right there, but you guys don't seem to be giving information or details. You guys don't seem to be doing that. Do, do you guys know what is happening today? Do you guys know, have you heard any information saying, okay, this is what's gonna happen? Or maybe they're trying to keep it under wraps and then they go out and do their thing and then they come and tell the people. But from time to time, I know even when we went up to the command center twice um, and you guys sort of vlogs and what have you, we went up there twice and, and the people were asking what is going on? So on the basis of trying to organize things to do things, where exactly are the information that you say that pe the police should th to think so people are pretty much just making their speculations on things that they see this is one of the reasons why i tell to put out um, based on the information that i received um that is what i tend to put out right there or give my viewpoint whether it's make whether it makes sense just like the casable video um audio whether it makes sense or it doesn't make sense and of course you know you guys can give your interactions and see what uh, what has happened as a result of this that's why you guys need to come out and actually do something about it tell the people what's going on Because I know when they have searches in the United States, each day they, are, they always give a, a briefing at the end of the day. They come on the media and they give a briefing where they search and haven't found anything. They found anything, then they give their viewpoint on, on, on things, but we don't hear anything. The last information that we received was they found 90 a, a, a shoe and, and a belt. And I don't even think the belt is the, well, could be the girl's own. Because apparently this is the stuff that the guy grabbed and went, went with it, based on what the parents were saying. But, anyways. but persons must not assume and imagine things and go to the media or go to the airwaves with those things. So you must come there and give the people information. Come out and give the people information, say what you guys found. So we want to caution people against that practice. They must desist from doing those things and um, stop giving false information to the public. So if, let us assume that Kian is looking at this video right now. What would you like to say to him? Oh yes, yes, sure. Oh Kian. Kian. Yes, yes. Kian, but Kian, they say Kian wants. Well, the parents say Kian on his medication. When he on his medication, he okay. So if Kian not on his medication and in the bush somewhere hiding, resting in the forest, you think Kian will be on 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 phone? This is one of the reasons why I, th I I believe in my heart of hearts that there are other individuals helping him out. And I don't think he's in the bush nowhere. I think he's in somebody's house. And somebody's protecting him some way, somehow. I hope they get warrants to go and search people's house. Are they following that type of leads? What is going on? If the police came out and said they are then going to be searching in houses and whatnot, wouldn't that be a part of, bad part of helping out in this situation? I mean, they, they, that's what I think they should be doing because to carry a little girl all the way inside bush and thing and... and, and th I mean, I don't want to tell Kian, I mean, give up the person's child, you know, give up the person's I agree, give up the little youth, give up the little youth, the little youth, 
What you doing in bush? Huh? She's adamant. She's even her? Come on, man. Person's trial. It's an innocent trial out there. It is not right to be doing that. Um, we will um, be happy if he can bring in the trial himself. If we, uh, if he wants, he can ask us to meet him some location. We will meet him. <laughs> he's not that mad. I don't think he'll be that mad because he know he abducted the little one. So I don't think he'll call. Hey, you know what? All you come and meet me in that location, and I'll bring the child lake one for all you. And then I'll go about my business, go back in the forest and rest. I don't think this will happen, no? We will be happy to get the child and to return the child to the family. But then again, who do you return the, the little one to? Because I've been hearing other things on, on, on the grapevine. Some individuals stating that they knew they knew the girl and what have you and dealt with her. And it seems like she herself is is is, is an interesting one. I will just say that right there. And um, if I get more information that I'll bring it up for you, but she's an interesting one as well. So it's not just saying it's like a little angel and thing and she nice and well from, from the information I got, eh? I'm not saying that she's a, a she's a little one. I mean they all troublesome in certain ways and what have you. You know, and you know, like to give a little rudeness here and there. You know, but um that's what some of the, the individuals was saying stating to me. But regardless of that, I mean she needs to be found. She's a little one. She's underage, she doesn't have consent to do nothing apart from drink her mother's milk. Anyways. But it is it is not right. It is it is it's wrong to be doing that. Yeah, you need and to be want to urge him to come forth, come forward, bring the child in, and um, we will be very happy about it. And we can confirm that search teams are out and they will continue the search. Yes, yes, indeed. The search teams are out and uh, the, the search will continue. We are, we are determined to continue until we are satisfied that uh, we can bring the child back home. Well, that is all we can hope for, brothers and sisters. Those of you who can pray, pray. Those of you praying and God do hear you, well, don't pray, go and search. <laughs> Those of you who got you praying and God hear you, well, continue praying, brothers and sisters. But of course, um, that is the latest update that I received in, in this regard from, from the horse's mouth right there. But I definitely do think that, that the, the, the madman's wife should definitely come out and give her side of the story as well. Because apparently, from, from what I understood from, from her friends and whatever people who know her closely, they're stating that she's itching. She's seen a lot of things going on social media and she's itching to give her side of the story. But for some reason, she, she's not a thing. And um, she's not in Dominica, by the way. Uh, out, uh, wherever. She's outside. She's overseas. <laughs> and... Um, she says, from my understanding, she says she's itching to give a side of the story because the number of things that people are saying doesn't necessarily add up to her experience. But then again, sometimes different people are, or this different people are different to certain people. Like I might act a certain way to that person, I might act another way to that person because our relations are different. So people might get a different thing. But I guess the person who lives with the, him the most well, would be his parents. His parents give their views. And the wife would be the the the, the one uh, the one that that is um the one that is actually there. So, um, what are your thoughts, guys? What are your thoughts on the whole situation right there? Um, do you think that the, that the child is in Cassie Bruce? It seems like the officers are packing up, as you can see right there, and they seem to be heading to the Cassie Bruce region based off what this individual is staying right there. And of course, he has good information on, on these vibrations. He has other questions certain things but i leave that out because i'm not you know but um based off the trajectory of things it seems like they're packing up and they're heading down to uh uh, uh, uh down or up wherever Cassie Bruce is to that area right there um but i'll keep you guys abreast on the whole situation when 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 more information comes in um and of course it's a reaction so i just give my views on the information that is being presented whether it sounds viable or not you know how i roll already brothers and sisters and with all that said, give this video a thumbs up if you understand it. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through right there. And don't forget to download the app. I would appreciate that as well. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Let me get it by lunch, man. Thank God.